It's getting a little worrisome at home. There's three of us, and I have spoken to Phoebe about uh, the portion control at home. But we did go shopping on Saturday, and it was like a miracle. There was no toilet paper, no tissues, no hand wash, uh, hardly any soap left. But just as I came through the delicatessen section, out from behind in the storage area came this great big trolley of uh, toilet paper and tissues. And, uh, and I thought, it's a miracle. <laughs> right beside me, they rolled past. There were several, several staff members. Obviously, they felt that they needed some form of security. And uh, they wheeled, wheeled it just in front of me. It was like one of those moments uh, of serendipity where everything just falls together in the right moment. And you feel like you're in the right place at the right time, as if it's all just been served up for you, and the trolley pulls up right in front, goes round the corner, and I follow uh, with an increasingly large crowd. <laughs> I was a bit unsure about their theological reflections at the time. But the trolley stopped, and the assistant said, take what you like. So I moved towards the trolley, but this lady, Thanks very much. <laughs> this lady with an empty trolley moved in front of me and cut me off and had the trolley wedged up against the, uh, the other side of the, the, the aisle. So, so here was this big pile of toilet paper and people were scrambling. And, it, and you could feel uh, the desperation in the air. But this lady cut me off and I, I couldn't get across because if I did, I'd, I'd lean over the trolley, the trolley would go sideways. I had feelings of deep love and care towards her. <laughs> and so she turned and, and took this big packet of toilet paper off the top of the trolley and turned around and, and, and put it over her trolley, and then she saw my face. I don't know what impression I gave. <laughs> but she held the toilet paper and then passed it across the top of the trolley and said, oh, I might as well give you one. <laughs> there is a God. And she says, is that all you need? Oh, yes, thank you, one will be enough. And so I took the toilet paper and found my way to you and who had the rest of the trolley. And as I, as I walked out, everybody looked at me because there'd been no toilet paper there all morning. And so as I walked out, people were looking at me with a look of darkness. Where did you get that from? I felt like a criminal because as I turned down and looked down the aisle, there was no toilet paper left. It had all gone. Let us bring our prayers of thanksgiving to God. Let us pray. We thank you, God, that you provide us with what we need. We recognise that in this time we are shaped and pulled and manipulated and seduced and, and shaped by fear. In this moment, as a community, we sit with a deep sense of gratitude that you give us all that we need. 